How are we doing today guys? Ryan and AJ here with this week's fishing report. Um, so today we're going to go over a couple different species here um, between the bay and some freshwater stuff also. So starting off in the bay, um, good rockfish bite still. The water is really cooling down. Those rockfish are really picking up. Um, you are getting into some deeper water. Uh, whether you are jigging or trolling, you want to definitely use some more weight. So if you're, use, if you're uh, using uh, the light tackle technique, uh, snap jigging or uh, something like that you want to use something like uh, this here one one or one and a half ounce uh, jig heads uh, this here i have um, gi jigs glow jig head in the one and a half ounce so these are limited they're really really nice uh, make sure you come in and get them while we have them um, and then what i would pair up with that is this Boston baits fat boy in the albino color so these rockfish for some reason right now are really really keen on on those purples and blues um, and I really like to bulk up my profile this time of year and get it get it deeper for sure Like I said with that heavier weight um, So that's kind of a, a brief overview of what you want to be using jigging of course There are tons of different companies tons of different stuff you can use but um, All in that same ballpark there um, Moving on to trolling. I like to use something like this here um, blue curly tail teasers on this uh, 20 inch umbrella here um, and this time of year, I'm switching back to our nine inch trailers. Um, so we have a nine inch blue with the holographic um, trailer here, um, jig head, sartreuse skirt, and then like I said, these curly tail teasers here. Um, and like I said, more weight on these umbrellas this time of year. Sometimes I'm running up to like 32 ounces in front of these umbrellas to get um, to get down into the water column where those fish are sitting sometimes they're literally sitting on the bottom this time of year so um, try and get down there and you will definitely pick up some decent sized fish um, so AJ I know uh, you've been doing a little bit of freshwater fishing we were out in the mill ponds on the eastern oh, absolutely shore. Uh, fishing for a lot of pickles a lot of pan fish water was uh, nice and warm a couple days ago it was great fishing we started out with uh, some of these firefly jigs over here for the smaller panfish, they absolutely go bananas over them. But myself, I've even caught a pickerel on them. Sometimes if this stuff doesn't do too well for you, we move down to the bobbers with the wax worms, cast yep. that in right on the edge of the, the lily pads, give it a couple shakes, you know, you'll get all kinds of bites, pulling all kinds of panfish. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we caught some really nice bluegill um, on these 164th firefly jigs, just using a float and fly jig as we call it. So you're putting a bobber like two feet up on your main line, uh, you're floating this under or sorry you're, you're you're putting this under a bobber and then you're tipping it with a wax worm and almost all the time you will get either bluegill sunfish crappie all kinds of panfish in there um, and then moving on I know you were uh, as far as moving baits go in, in these uh, freshwater areas using retrieving a... with the streaks and the willow vibe so these things are fantastic even for low visibility water it does shake up the water a lot, make a lot of noise, pulls the fish in. We were fishing for pickerel with it, pulled in a couple. I even pulled in a crappie myself with it and a couple trees. Yeah. yeah. Very good for snagging. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, these willow vibes I use here in the Magathy and the Severn River, they work really, really well. I personally like the quarter ounce gold blade with the sartreuse and white head. Um, and then we were, we were at the mill ponds. I also caught a uh, largemouth bass around like two pounds. So definitely a very very versatile lure you could use it in all pretty much all waters in maryland um and like you said a lot of vibration off that willow vibe blade um and then moving on to one more technique for pickerel um again magathy mill ponds on the eastern shore severn river really all of these uh bodies of water that that uh hold pickerel are our snakehead float rig um it's called a snakehead float rig but it works really really well for pickerel um, so pretty much it's just a, uh, slip bobber with a, I believe a size one aught, uh, bait holder hook, got a little weight there and you're just going to put a little mud minnow onto there and, uh, hook it through the lips and just kind of float it out. You really don't have to do anything with it. Um, kind of, you can either just, uh, drift with the wind or just slow troll it either on a kayak or a boat whatever works for you. Um, even from shore, you just cast it out and let it sit that minnow under there. And then one more is a classic super rooster tail. Oh, I love uh, those things, man. Yeah. They're yeah you want to talk about it? Yeah. I mean, I've caught anywhere from tiny little perch on it to 
big old 27 inch rockfish on the single hook it's fantastic and it's even better for night fishing which is the majority of my fishing yeah yeah definitely so you just want to get out there uh get out on your either local piers or take a kayak out like aj does here i know you were on the uh, little bag thief right oh absolutely all yeah. kinds yep so definitely um a good variation great time of year to go fishing um a lot of people stop fishing this time of year and i honestly don't know why because it really really does get it's good fantastic. and there's no boat traffic um it's really peaceful it's nice and calm and year. peaceful yeah so with that being said that kind of wraps up our fishing report for this week and have a good one guys